joy turns to terror in Dana Point Harbor when a firework veers out of control during a 4th of July celebration, injuring two women. Both victims were burned and bruised, but thankful their injuries weren't worse. They say they were in a designated safe zone on the water that proved to not to be so safe. Mary Beth McDay joins us live from Dana Point where she spoke with the victims and witnesses. Mary Beth. Yes, Mike and Jerry, you know, it was pretty cold down here in Dana Point on the night of 4th of July. And so the woman that we spoke to says that she had on three jackets to stay warm. And she believes that it was those three jackets that helped save her from more severe injuries. A group of friends were out enjoying the city of Dana Point's 4th of July fireworks off Doheny State Beach. That is until something went terribly wrong. <laughs> Their cell phone video captures a firework veer out of control, hit the water, and explode right near their boat. That was not right. Get out of here. During the fireworks show, there was an explosion on the barge where the rockets are being launched from, which is not supposed to happen. And this created like a chain reaction, sending one of the rockets careening towards us, bouncing off the water, exploding like just 10 feet from our boat, um, sending like shrapnel all over the place. Uh, my friend Lauren took a direct hit to the arm. Lauren Hassan says as they fled in their boat back to the harbor, she soon realized she'd been hit. I did know I got hit uh, initially, but I think the adrenaline was pumping through me so fast that I my first was just just to leave. Um, so then we when we got away safely is kind of when I started feeling a little more of my arm and the pain. She tells us it burned through the three jackets she was wearing. Burned right through it. <laughs> Lauren says paramedics treated her at the scene and then she went to an ER that deals with burns. And they said like second, third degree. I'm not. Yeah, it was very painful. <laughs> the group says they were in the safe zone, but still found themselves in harm's way. We've been attending this fireworks show for 20 years now, and we've had some expectation of safety, it being like a city-sponsored fireworks show, especially when you're in a designated safe area. Lauren feels grateful her injuries weren't worse. It's kind of lucky that no one died because I just keep thinking like this was so close to my face, honestly, that it, that the impact of it alone would have been very detrimental. And Lauren tells us that she has a doctor's appointment next week, and it's then that she is going to find out if she is going to need surgery. Now, I reached out to Dana Point, and a spokesperson got back to me and says that they are investigating this incident. For now, reporting live here in Dana Point, Mary Beth McDade will send back to you guys in the studio. Mary Beth, thank you.